thanks for tuning in to News Box Private Limited. In this series of podcasts, we'll be discussing some interesting, some irrelevant, and some absolutely pointless event from the tiny world we live in. For today's podcast, we'll be talking about Delhi government's flagship program of installing CCTV cameras in classroom across all Delhi schools. Over 1,000 schools have been asked quickly to implement the order, including private as well as government schools. Installation for first batch has already begun. According to administration, parents will be able to get live feed of CCTV cameras through the DGS Live app. There are lots of mixed reactions coming in from parents, teacher, student and some so-called educationist. We'll be talking on this issue in detail with Nimit Dikshit, a former lawyer, a bakchod lawyer basically and a wannabe journalist. <laughs> hey up? Nimit, how are you? Hi guys, hi Yash, how are you doing? How yeah, are you? great, great, great. And with us we also have Gokul GK, who is a traveler, reader and a foodie Malu. Nimit, what do you think of this? Yeah, firstly, I mean, I don't uh, know why this has suddenly become such a big issue now because this has been going on since 2017. I mean, this guy has been trying to set up these CCTV cameras since 2017. My main problem is that why is he actually started it now, two years later? I mean, 2017, I think in September, he announced after the Ryan International case yeah. where that, uh, I think the minor was uh, sexually abused mm-hmm. and I think there was another case in Dwarka and after which... He said that I'm going to start installing CCTV cameras and there were a bunch of lawsuits about it. The, the media was ramped up again. And again, now it's come, we're two years down the line and he's still saying I'm going to install a thousand, uh, you know, a lakh of cameras in a thousand of schools. So I don't understand why we are still where we were two years ago. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Thing is, I used to like Arvind Kejriwal, but well, not anymore. <laughs> because, uh, because I fa- found this... Um, discussion, I found this uh, decision rather uh, obnoxious because in schools, schools are a different platform, you know, especially classrooms are different. Like classrooms are very different from schools as well. Because in classrooms, what we find is a very closed atmosphere where people can be free, where people, where kids are very free and they're allowed to make mistakes. And that's exactly what I want to say. I wish my office was also like that. I yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were allowed to be free and make mistakes. Yeah, but in schools, we are like allowed to make mistakes. No, it's very, it's a fundamental thing about schools. And that's that's what I, I was thinking because uh, I'm not taking uh, talking about the legality of it or the constitutionality about it. I'm just uh, um, talking something. There is a right for kids. There is a right for kids who go to school. It's the right to make mistakes. It's a very important uh, right, because when we are, when we were kids and when we were, used to go to schools, the, the, how how we learn things by making mistakes. We will do a math problem, we make mistakes, and then we learn from it. We will do something. But I think they won't catch your mistakes that you do with your math problem on no, this I camera. Saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 You, even if they are talking to girls, yeah. it would be on the camera and it, the school will make a huge fuss out of it. And that's a huge problem we are dealing with. What, what do you have to say about that? <laughs> no, actually, Nimit uh, correctly pointed out. Actually, this issue is matlab, doesn't start it like uh, in 2017, but this was in the manifesto of uh, Arvind Kejriwal for installing cameras. Second, second time when he was coming. Uh, yeah, 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 the second time when he was coming. It's just not about surveillance. It's, it's about... Altering the behavior of kids, it's about challenging them to be artificial. And there are lots of uh, such things happening. And even um, recently, there was a decision by MHRD, uh, Human Resource Department, that to link all the social media. Social media, yeah. It, there, I think there's an experiment going on, kids, because all the things suggest to it. Mm. I, I, yeah, I don't know why they want all the social. I mean, they're saying right now they want it for all the right yeah, reasons the and to monitor yeah, monitor yeah. our uh, children and how they are growing, yeah. but. I don't know how far they'll only be monitoring us. But um, I think, uh, I mean, how far do we, you know, talk about mistakes this lightly? What kind of mistakes are we talking about? Is bullying a mistake? Is the victim of a bully going to look at his bullies as, sorry, I know that's okay. But, you know, is eve teasing a mistake? 
you know is is drug abuse a mistake what is what are the kind of mistakes i mean there has to be a sort of more objective pattern to determine how you know we look at this issue because the backdrop as i said uh, in which this came is you know violent crime you know there's been uh, teachers being abused by students students being abused by teachers uh, violence in classrooms which today you know in our age maybe it was still something that was more acceptable but i think we're moving forward and we we all agree that that's probably not the right solution to go by but but, but nimit we should we should know when did uh, classes classes started being like this classes started being such an unsafe place in india it's a it's a very horrible thing if you think about it because classrooms were safe back then you know there 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 was bullying there was uh, there was all kind of stuff going on but we we couldn't we can't find these things through a camera but because most bullying happen in majority of the bullying happen in schools are mental torture mental bullying and we cannot identify these things we, we couldn't know these things by just uh, installing two cctv cameras i think it should be the teacher or the students who should be well aware of the situation and they should be they should know what the uh, things going on with the kid uh, now let's talk about the legal aspect which is i think very important in this case where supreme court rejected to put a stay on the installation of cctv camera firstly i think what's important to understand is today there is no law in india preventing the installation of cctv cameras in classrooms so what about right to right. privacy yeah so the right to privacy is something that did exist in india but became a fundamental right to every uh, person in our country uh, last last year with the puttaswami judgment 2017 Yeah, to down seventeen judges to put to Swami case. Now, what that means is that this is a right that is that is that cannot be fettered by any sort of law, any sort of government mechanism, and it is also something that cannot be waived by any person that has this right. That is the meaning of it becoming a fundamental right in our country today. Now, the challenge to uh, uh, the challenge for the government and the courts now is going to be to check whether. this installation of cctv cameras violates the right to privacy there are a bunch of things that we got to understand and that we should probably you know talk about here ek ki ye jo classroom hai is this even a private place because to qualify as a, as a violation of a right to privacy you have to be violate of somebody in a private place is this a private place i think it's a public place for one because when we go to classrooms just like we go to parks we go to malls we go to government offices in our own offices there are cameras you know we go there for a particular purpose to meet with an other bunch of people who come there for the same purpose to educate ourselves to learn something and to communicate in a professional in a, in a school atmosphere sort of manner not our own private discussions i completely understand that private discussions do take place mental bullying does take place in classrooms and of course different measures have to be put up for that but to take care of your basic physical bullying your uh, drug abuse your uh, you know violence to prevent all of that and mostly to use this as a deterrent against you know kids and teachers abusing their position or abusing the class atmosphere i think this would still be a a valid step and in the right direction uh, yeah i agree to it but i would uh, give classroom a very different uh, definition because a classroom is a place where a kid is um, developing his character is developing his intellect and also the knowledge the knowledge part i think it's um, it's it's very less compared to the other things the other aspects of a of a kid growing up and it's there are so many aspects to it so what i think is when there are cctv cameras and when when a kid know there are a constant monitoring going on even the school authorities and even the parents would come together and would try to make identical copies you know they they would, the school mm. would have a prototype the parents would have a good boy prototype and they would try and uh, they would uh, impress this this on the children he you should be like this and if there are 41 students in the class every 41 student will be alike and we don't want that it's not what evolution is about evolution needs different things different people with different characters then only it would sustain us very healthy society and that's what i uh, that's what the most obnoxious thing when i, I noticed when basically saying everybody is becoming a robot in class today yeah. but i think you that's see, happening anyway like if you look at social media today you can the way people you know are doing the same thing following celebrities yeah, uh, you know kim kardashian's <laughs> instagram page 
वी आर ऑल डूइंग द सेम थिंग यार कल रात को तुम तीनों ने वही वीडियो देखे होंगे जो मैंने देखा होगा यार सेम मीम्स देखे होंगे हमने वी वुड हैव लाफ्ड एट द सेम थिंग आ जाए ऐसा करते हैं ब्रो वापसी आते हैं लीगलिटीज के ऊपर हम लोग थोड़ा सा ऑफ टॉपिक चले गए थोड़ा सा द लेडी द गर्ल हु फाइल्ड दिस पिटीशन इको स्टेट्स इन हर पिटीशन दैट एनीवन विद यूजर आईडी एंड पासवर्ड जेपरडाइजेस द सेफ्टी एंड सिक्योरिटी ऑफ यंग गर्ल्स एंड आल्सो फीमेल टीचर which shall directly give rise to incidents of stalking or and voyeurism and there is there are two different terms pro, being protective and protectism so what do you think about this thing you know and now see um, firstly i think what we should understand is that um, technology has its flaws has its benefits right yeah we need to be able to harness the benefits that technology brings with us and create a mechanism a control mechanism a system of checks and balances maybe to take care of the other flaws that take place hold people accountable correctly right there should be a process in today's world of privacy data security although india is really weak on data law let me tell you the us will probably implement the system way better than we are we don't have a data protection law but i think there is a mechanism that we can work towards to ensure that this system remains secure on and only accessible to the people that are to be given access to it in this case the parents and the school administration i don't think that i think there is the the hue and cry about it is valid that yes we live in a society today where stalking is prevalent in our society in all aspects and facets of our life there is stalking you know and as male privilege we probably don't understand the the the, the you know we probably don't understand how it feels or and maybe we're not in the right position to probably speak about it but just to you know shun away an entire technological advancement the use of cctv cameras which is being used all across the world today we're moving in a, towards a world where technology is assisting us we're growing with technology in that sort of an environment i don't understand how we can simply say that because this technology has certain drawbacks or because our society may not be able to use it yet we shouldn't move forward with it we should create a system whereby we can use this technology so do you think in ko install karne se actually mean cases mein kuch kami aayegi or there will be a downfall in these cases no? agar 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 hum uh, examples dekhe uh, uh, the kerala high court gokul will know this yeah, is a course, is a mallu beef eater yeah uh, gokul will know this beef uh, beef beef yeah yeah people don't kill me man so <laughs> buffalo buffalo guys we're talking about buffalo yeah. anyway so being a, being a from kerala you would know that the kerala high court uh, overturned a government decision banning uh, uh, the use of cctv cameras in schools about 2 years ago and said that uh, in classrooms the implementation of the cctv program actually helps prevent uh, uh, teach uh, prevent teachers from not attending class which is one of the major uh, you know uh, positive outcomes that's come out of this yeah actually it's very true but the one thing i noticed with this judgment is or with this particular decision is we cannot ensure the uh, quality of uh, teaching with just cctv cameras a teacher could come into the class and just sing some songs and leave and like people won't but understand. yeah correct but this is not about the quality this is about whether that teacher is doing his or her job by coming to that class but or that, not that that means right? no that's difference. a valid point you know matlab he's saying ki agar teacher class mein aati hai camera hone ke baad bhi she she is not teaching the students she just just come blabber about some stuff yeah, and go and I but but this when i was that, huh. when in my uh, when i was in 10th i had a teacher she used to come to the school and uh, used to tell her stories when she went for picnic when she went for touring and all that so they, there's no uh, learning happening there but she comes to school but i don't think that's, that's what the cctv is there for like if you see the if you see the news on around this there's there's a, there's a hindustan times article which is clearly pointed out that Uh, across government schools especially because we are looking at government schools yeah. today we are looking at schools where teachers are employed by the government and hum jante hain ki india mein government kya halat hai kya halat hai nobody attends any classes there is no system of accountability hmm. there is complete job security the hindustan times article clearly points out that look i was there, there were about 70 cases where there was no uh, teacher attending and this was pointed out by by parents by monitoring these classes on camera and when this was pointed out strict action was taken against those teachers right and it was in short that they attend those classes so there is an actual factual outcome and you know there's another hindu article mm-hmm. which i could talk about where which discusses that most private schools 
already have cameras, man. I'm yeah. sure. Did you guys attend private schools? Yeah. Yeah, obviously yeah, so they have cameras, yeah, but classes. the fee do not go directly to the parents. No, that's the correct. Thing. Correct. But the, since the cam, but to, right now if we're discussing the effect uh, on uh, the teachers or how their behavior, I think that this Hindu article points out that firstly. The, the, it works as a deterrent in behavioral patterns of teachers and students, but also becomes inconspicuous. After two days, it seems like that the kids are sitting with a camera. First, we will see the camera on the first day. Yes, the camera is on the camera, we will do nothing. On the fourth day, I will look at the camera and smile at the camera. I will take my tongue out and look at the camera like this. I will, I will probably, uh, you know, as kids, we, I was in a boys' school, I probably put a condom over that camera and we won't know who did it. Cause that's who we are, man. As a yeah. that's okay. Yeah, that's the yeah. thing. That's the thing. But it's. I think that would be a much utopian concept because there, when there are small kids, we don't know. Kids might be turned into. We, we we should also think about this dystopian world where kids will be like uh, robots. They will be really mechanical. If you have yeah. seen Charlie Chaplin's Modern Times, you yeah. understand. They George Orwell's really, novel be crying. Yeah, 1984. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, like there will be an Orwell's dystopian world. It 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 would. Be is a possibility. We cannot just write up that possibility. It's, it's, it's like Pink Floyd's song. We don't need no <laughs> education. Yeah, you know, you know, yeah, there, there are two concepts actually. Now, one is being protective, and one is protectism. Pro- being protective means being liberal and ensuring safety. Whereas protectism means uh, you you are curtailing and dispowering someone. No, so there is a huge difference. I think this issue is more of a this issue deals with protectionism. Not protective, being protective. Um, okay. First of all, uh, heavy words, but okay. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, uh, what it deals with is we have to look at it from the uh, from from both perspectives, right? We have to look at, and that is what the Puttaswami privacy judgment mm-hmm. also says: is that you look at it from a perspective where you see whether the rationale behind behind a particular decision overpowers any other social drawback or any other drawback that and meets a particular need that of the hour. The need of the hour is clear. I think we can all agree on that. Right? There is a clear requirement to manage the discipline in schools. Look at the US, right? That bullying and you know social structure in you know in schools and across the US is a heavy, heavy part of their culture. And we see fifty percent of the kids coming out having anxiety yeah. because of this particular issue. Right, and you know, I understand that a lot of the times mental bullying may not be, but may not be, you know, captured on camera as such on film. I may be mentally bullying you right now, but you know, we can't capture this because this is an audio podcast. But uh, the point is that this still remains a step in the right direction. The Delhi High Court in 2018 uh, heard a similar petition and found that the privacy of a child is not violated in the space of a classroom because in a classroom you come to learn you come to talk to your peers and you come to uh, educate this is what also Arvind Kejri what we did about and said and uh, the Kerala High Court the Gujarat High Court all of these courts have passed decisions on the use of cameras with children in schools the consent needs to come from the parent as long as the parent consents and understands that this live feed is going to all the other parents as well I don't think the right of privacy right of privacy of any child is being violated and it would but be a serious okay, issue if it was. What difference is that going to mean? Because there are, I, I, I believe that, I'm not from Delhi, I'm from Kerala, but I believe that there are so many CCTV cameras on Delhi streets. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Sure, yeah. Delhi. So, CP could not place yeah, yeah, every yeah, Porsche. Still, yeah. there are crimes happening in Delhi. Still, absolutely. there are rapes. But, but, crime is on but rise. Don't, you see, don't you think detection has become a lot better? If you look at detection traffic. Detection is becoming a lot better, but in, in classrooms in, uh, or in a school atmosphere, it's more than detection. It's like stopping that crime from happening. Stopping that wrongdoing from happening because we uh, we are here to develop a child's character and to uh, just to protect him from doing such things. I'm using the word protect. Protect him from protect. Yeah, yeah that is the thing. For yeah, the one time, I was going to Delhi. Okay. At night, it was three o'clock. I need to pick up alcohol. Only place to get alcohol is Gurgaon. 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 Both signals were, my signal was closed, but there was nobody I could have easily gone. There were two trucks passing. I, I didn't pass by. Why? Because I know that there's a camera there. 
if i go past that camera is going to record me even at 3 in the night even though there's no traffic there nothing is going to happen main chala jata main sare signal kaat sakta tha but i couldn't do it because i knew ki kal wo 800 rupaye mere balance se kaat dega bro lekin bhai i understand your point mitra point samajh raha hu lekin कैमरा जो है एक सेकंड क्लास के बच्चे की क्लास रूम में भी इंस्टॉल हो रहा है फर्स्ट क्लास के बच्चे के रूम में भी इंस्टॉल हो रहा है तो दैट इज आल्सो पॉइंट बट वो सिर्फ एक बच्चे के रूम में इंस्टॉल नहीं हो रहा हाँ। वो एज अ क्लास वही तो मैं बोल रहा हूँ तीन दिन वो कैमरा को देखेगा चौथे दिन वो कैमरा में अपना बंदर वाला शक्ल ऐसे दिखाएगा कैमरा को ऐसे डांस तो आए तो... अच्छा अब नाउ मूविंग फॉरवर्ड वी डिस्कस दिस लीगल एस्पेक्ट नाउ लेट्स गो टू द पॉलिटिकल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ दिस थिंग नो वी हैव सीन एमएचआरडीज रूलिंग बकवास है पॉलिटिक्स बकवास है पॉलिटिक्स लेकिन रहना तो इसी देश में तो पॉलिटिक्स की बात करनी है अरविंद केजरीवाल कुछ करेगा तो वो उसके अगेंस्ट बोलेगा ही बीजेपी कांग्रेस बोलेगा ही अब बीजेपी कुछ करेगा तो अरविंद केजरीवाल उसके अगेंस्ट बोलेगा ही ब्रो मोदी का 56 इंच का क्या करेगा वो आम पसंद है आम आदमी पसंद है आप आदमी के क्या चल रहा है यहां पे अच्छा सुनो 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 देखो क्या हो जब भी आ, क्या मोदी तेरे को अभी देख रहा हूँ सीसीटीवी में का, काश इतना खाली होता मोदी <laughs> काश व्हेन देर वाज रूलिंग अबाउट दैट एमएच ऑफ द रूलिंग ऑफ एमएचआरडी फॉर कनेक्टिंग योर सोशल मीडिया हैंडल्स टू द आधार कार्ड एंड द एमएचआरडी वेबसाइट या टू द एमएचआरडी वेबसाइट सो सॉरी नॉट आधार कार्ड सो अरविंद केजरीवाल क्रिटिसाइज दिस इशू ठीक है एंड नाउ द सेम थिंग इज हैपनिंग व्हेन विजेंद्र गोयल Uh, MLA from BJP is criticizing Arvind Kejriwal's move here. So, what is this hypocrisy all about? Because where, where, why are we surprised that hey, political I, hypocrisy? We, we should be surprised. <laughs> yeah, that's all. ये इनका काम है. इनका job ये ही है. जैसे अगर हम journalist बनेंगे, हमारा काम है to question every story. Their question, so this is to question every decision yeah, of every other government. Yeah, and yeah, that's yeah, how yeah. democracy works, yeah. yeah. You have to question the ruling party. Of course, that's not the case today. Maybe we are not able to question our ruling party that much. Politics is basically but, see, we, yeah. It's it runs out there, so. so So, I think it's like great. Me. I think it's great that we live in a society where at least Delhi's government can be questioned. Because today yeah. we're not in a society where our national government can be questioned. They're too yeah. much in power. No, that's a, all the CPP does know more about. You shouldn't say that. Man. You shouldn't say that. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so we all agree talking about politics is just bullshit. Okay, so I mean, I mean, we can we can maybe talk about. Uh, why arvind kejriwal did this and why you know it took so long to implement at that point of time he was probably just trying to appease his vote bank yeah. ki bhai ha ye sab sexual violent crime ho raha hai hamare country mein bro ye to metro mein free ride dene ke liye claim kar raha hai ki isse bhi kam hoga to bhai to na ki point is maybe he's not thought about the economics of the situation yeah. as much as looking at just the temporary short term appeasement of his vote yes yeah, 600 crore that's a huge humongous yeah. amount going Behind this project, not not only 600 crores after the maintenance cost, yeah. after the cost of uh, maintaining that app, you know, a lot of IT stuff yeah. goes behind this. No, so बहुत बड़ा amount involved इसके अंदर. So do you think उन 600 करोड़ के साथ कुछ better हुआ जा सकता था? But this is a country which built statues of unity for three years. काफी unite हुए हम statues के बाद. Everyone. हाँ तो what I was saying is basically. the politics of the matter is always going to be uh, you know something that we can question and look into and i mean as long as this remains a good decision and if we agree is a good decision or or a bad decision i think that's where that's where we come in i mean we can question it on merit but questioning on the politics of it is really it's it's a fruitless exercise in yeah. our country we are talking about politics freedom of speech and expression is a big thing in this country right now after that jane you incidents and quite a I, small thing in this country right? <laughs> you can say but you don't don't you think in this issue this is also a breach of freedom of speech and expression because being a teacher being a teacher in a classroom where she wants to teach some some sub some topics which are not related to a subject uh, i think one of the most important subject is good touch or bad touch i mean uh, a girl really needs to understand uh, not even girl today a boy also We need to understand what is a good touch or a bad touch, and for that she might uh, conduct some exercises which involves touch. I mean, which involves some physical exercise, physical work, which may give parents or the person who is watching the feed uh, a wrong impression of that. So, what, what, what do you think about that? No. So, um, when I was a kid, you know, sometimes we had to 
do a lot of things where uh, our teacher is probably taking us out for a day's trip to the park mm-hmm. which was also at that point of time considered weird because we didn't even have a cell phone we didn't have a yeah. information mm-hmm. you know it was like suddenly bachcho ko utha park mein le jao kuch bhi ho sakta hai so what happens is prior to any such class taking place or any such activities taking place you send a letter to the parents or you a call goes to the parents yeah. ki dekho bhai hum ye karne wale hain uh-huh. we're going to have this sort of exercise with the students and uh, we just wanted to understand that this is what's going to happen so i think as i said valid concerns but as long as there is a good control mechanism there is a checks and balances system to take a look and to take into account everything that can go wrong here and to envisage a broader sort of mechanism and a long sighted solution i think this is this is not a reason which can you know stop the advent of this technology in our lives today because uh, you know scrutiny um, surveillance monitoring cameras is, is an issue throughout the country and somebody from kerala with you know 100% education yeah, and yeah. background can <laughs> probably share more right on good touch yeah, and bad touch with this with this but the first thing i want to add it is not from this topic but sex education in india is also fundamentally flawed i would say Absolutely. it's not it's, it's not proper it's, it's out of topic i'm saying that but uh, even though there there are if we like as i mentioned before even though we are telling this to the parents that we are taking as you said uh, we are taking out the kids to a park some parents wouldn't allow it for, for many reasons some parents would um, file a complaint to these school, school authorities for taking the kids out during school but i would say that parents are different and kids should be different from parents because we are not here to um, i am um, expressing uh, my concern that is we are not here to uh, make identical copies of we are not here We're to not. create That's more sharma ji yeah. we we need to create <laughs> more sharma ji ka beta yeah sharma ji ka beta we need to create more different people with different opinions who can one is a poet and one is a scientist and one is an engineer we don't we need more engineers or more like, and journalists uh, what do you think yeah yeah journalist also because <laughs> it's, a, it's a dying profession i guess most people don't, don't say that, like no, that. No, cut that part <laughs> cut <laughs> that <laughs> but uh, no so actually <laughs> the thing is that i don't think that cctv is again address that issue ki no. mera bachcha ab ja ke kya poetry likh sakta hai class mein yeah. i mean can uh, that that actually is the school education system yeah. but one really good point i think that comes out from this is that the kind of kids that come here we don't want them to be like that a lot of their parents are conservative a lot of them are traditional yeah. they don't have liberal outlooks boys aren't allowed to talk to girls girls are in fact ostracized sometimes you know maybe they won't be allowed to go to school mm-hmm. and uh, the issue of casteism Caste. the issue of racial slur you know co- all these issues are probably broader than you know just trying to that can be covered by just installing a cctv and there has to be a more intrinsic sort of value based system in schools that needs to be instilled and personalized to students to be able to handle this but i think identification mm-hmm. of problems and you know the fact that i can go back to my parents today and say that listen i was bullied and you know my parents wouldn't be like nahi nahi chalta ye sab to school mein hota hai usne kuch kiya hoga isne kuch bola hoga tune tu kala bola kyunki tu kala hai bro mere sath hua hai bro mere sath hua hai 8th class tak i was like a really fat 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 kid you know you can even imagine how was how fat i was we love fat kids ha ah, yeah <laughs> so no, it used to happen with me na kids come and say hey chup ya but aise they used to do this stuff na and it it really impact you know bahut yeah it does yes yeah. yes can i ask you a question if it was different if the kids are not attacking you but they are not they are just uh, ignoring you they are you are in they are like isolating you and yeah no 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 i i i understand your point i'm just talking about the physical part the physical bullying yeah but it, that was the case it would create more mental harm on you if people were isolating you people are not interested in talking to you but the school authorities can do, can't do much about it even parents can't do much about but it but that is not something that this is looking to address this I, camera is not looking to address that yeah, ah, but obviously then what exactly i think the kid needs to be the more interested in <laughs> no every every kid is interesting yeah this was pretty much the case no we discussed all the issues in detail and we talked about the legality of the subject yeah. the social implication the political implication and also the psychological implications yeah. of this i think case. we can sum up to say that uh, cctvs are a good idea don't address all the issues that we probably face today and uh, politics is a piece of shit <laughs> yeah we all can agree on that and uh, arvind kejriwal you should try better next time i would say <laughs> always always keep trying hard we are all ak fans no we hate we 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 we, pro- we like you more than modi that's the <laughs> yeah, that's for sure <laughs> we, we like you that more
it's better than movie guys also share your experience with us in the comment section and try and tell what will you be like under a cctv camera and just let us know if you're okay uh, you know if you have a view on the psychological aspect on how uh, how kids will react how kids will behave to this camera is it good for teachers bad for teachers give us your opinions on what you'd like to hear yeah and uh, all malus don't eat beef so that's how it is <laughs> yeah thank you guys for tuning in to newsbox private limited podcast yahi banega <laughs>